I'm Truett from MeBMX, and today I'm gonna to be running you through how to calculate your gear ratio for your X9000. Now this will correlate to all bikes. It doesn't matter whether it's an eBMX high-powered Suron or whether it's some other custom bike. Doesn't matter, this is how you do it on every single bike. So our eBMX drag bike, we have a dirty bike, primary chain drive on this one, which is 13 and 30. All we need to do to figure this out is we divide these two numbers together and we divide these two numbers together and then we times them together. So if we divide 30 by 13 gives us 2.307. Then our secondary drive, if we go 55 divided by 14, gives us 3.928. Then to figure out our final drive, we times these two together, which will give us a final drive of 9.06. That's our final drive. Now, what does this mean when you divide your big sprocket by your small sprocket? 3.928. That means that this sprocket here, your small sprocket, has to spin 3.9 times before your rear sprocket has done a full rotation. So then, let's say we had a stock Suron belt drive. So don't mind my terrible drawing, but it's going to work nonetheless. That is terrible, but we're gonna go with it. <laughs> so we have a front sprocket of 20, and a rear sprocket of 51 on the belt drive. Same thing, we divide this number by this number, which gives us 2.217. There we go. Then, once again, times them together. Final drive of 2.7. So then, let's do the 219 dirty bike conversion for the Suron, which is a 20 in the front and a 48 in the rear, which gives us 2.4. And once again, times them together, which gives us a final drive of 9.4. Now, say if it was really simple and we had no secondary drive, for instance, my custom bike, which is a 10 in the front and is a 64, in the rear, all we have to do is one calculation, 64 divided by 10, which gives us 6.4. So then on the Talaria, the MX-3 and the MX-4, you obviously have a gearbox. Now that gearbox is 2.478. Now let's just say here's our 13 tooth uh, sprocket that would come off our gearbox. Let's just say we're running a 48 tooth sprocket for argument's sake, you might not be, but you now know how to calculate. So then, once again, we times these two together, which equals 9.148. Look at that, horrible writing, but there you go. Ultra B running the stock belt drive is 2.259. Then for argument's sake, front sprocket is 13 teeth, rear sprocket, let's just say 55, gives us 4.230. That gives us a final drive of 9.5, so there you go. So to bring it full circle, that means that our motor is turning 9.5 times to turn the rear wheel once. All right, so then we go over to our app and we're logged into our drag bike here. We then go into general, scroll down, and we see our wheel diameter and gear ratios. Our wheel diameter is 540. Now I've recently changed my gear ratio. We just calculated it on the bench. So it's 9.061. Now the VESC app only wants the first three numbers. It doesn't want, it's like one, blah, 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 blah. Just give it the first three. So in our case, it is 9.06. Press OK. Press save. So there you go. No longer do you have to bang your head against a brick wall trying to work out your gear ratios and you can get back to ripping. We'll see you later.